Hey, what up guys? It's Yeti here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to optimize your Valorant for both FPS and visibility. Basically the two most important things for any competitive player. Uh, I get people coming to my stream asking me like, yo, how do you make your game look like this? Hey, how can I improve my FPS? And this video is basically for all those people. We're going to be talking about out of game settings, basically stuff you do on Windows. And after that, I'm going to be showing you guys my in-game settings and I will be going over everything that you have to change in the game. So first, let's go and touch the out-of-game settings first. All right, so we're going to be talking about Windows settings today and just in general, out-of-game settings for Valorant. Before I get questions about it in the comments, that this thing that's moving in the background here, it's called Wallpaper Engine. It's an application on Steam that animates your background. So there's two things we want to talk about first here. And you're gonna wanna find your Valorant, your um, icon for it. You're gonna right click it, properties. You're gonna go to compatibility and you're gonna click these two disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator. You're gonna have to try these out and you're gonna have to decide for yourself if they are actually improving your frames per second. I even had a talk with uh, Valorant themselves, like the developers, and they told me that these are the settings they suggest everyone to try out or just actually just enable by default on their PC. The reason I'm not using them is because disable full screen optimizations makes alt tabbing take a little bit longer and I'm streaming and doing it all the time. So I'm not using this and run this program as admin. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just that for some reason, when I have that on, I cannot swap Spotify songs with my stream deck. It, it, it's literally very specific. If I would not be streaming, I would have both of these on. It's just something that I have to trust me. Riot themselves said that. Another thing we'll be talking about is startup. You want to disable things you have here that you don't know what they're for. Like, for example, you know, Adobe, Skype, Spotify, uh, all kinds of things like that that I don't need. I, I disable them here because they, they don't need, need to be there, right? Um... This way, your computer will run faster. It's going to have less programs opened on boot. And you're just, in general, going to have a much smoother experience. Like, a lot of people don't clean their computers as much as I do. And they have, like, a lot of things enabled. They don't know what, you know, what they're for and why they're there. I personally would suggest you to just disable things that you don't use. And you could always open them later on. It's not a big deal. All right, so another thing you're going to want to do is go into power settings. I think it's called edit power plan. And what you're gonna wanna use is high performance. That is the best plan because it's gonna give you the best FPS. It's gonna make your computer not turn off parts when it doesn't need because that can result in your PC basically being like, oh wait, I mean, this game's running fine at like 60 FPS. Why would I give it power for 300? Well. You want 300 because that's going to give you a much smoother experience. So make sure you're not on, you know, balanced or power saver. High performance should be fine. And it's not going to milk your power bill that hard as far as I know. And just like another quick thing that I see a lot of people doing that I would suggest you to not do is people go into their performance like this. And let's look at OBS Studio here. I don't have Valorant open at the moment. Is they like to give something called high priority or even real-time priority. I would not suggest you to mess with this too much, um, especially not with real-time. Real-time is really, really bad. Uh, I would go high as the most I would ever do to try if it improves your performance, which it probably will not. Uh, but real-time can actually mess things up on your computer. Like Computers in general know how to you know, optimize themselves for programs, so... Be very careful when you're, you know, ticking these weird buttons that you don't know what they do. Just like a little heads up for you guys right there. All right. And now lastly, for out of Windows, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA control panel. And let's go right here. First of all, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview. You're going to go to advanced image 3D settings. And here, I don't change too many of them. Uh, I'm going to scroll through them like this so you can copy them. But I'm going to talk specifically about which ones I would change. So if we go all the way to the bottom here, virtually pre-rendered frames should be on one. Texture, filtering quality, high performance. Preferred, fresh, fr preferred refresh rate should be highest available. Uh, power management mode should be prefer maximum performance. And I think these are actually, these are like the ones that can actually change a lot. Like even people that like, um, 
advanced users that do like those insane benchmarking tests, they just change those for the most part and it can already give like 10% increased performance. As for your resolution, make sure you have the highest refresh rate enabled. I don't use any default or any custom colors or anything like that. Uh, this is where you change your digital vibrance, which increases the vibrance of the colors. Like it can just, it makes the colors pop out a lot more. I don't use this in Valorant because I think Valorant is already a very colorful game, but you can try this out. Maybe put it on 60%, 75%, some people even like a hundred, but for me, that's way too much. Another thing that can help you improve performance is going in here and putting on override the, the scaling set by games and putting no scaling. Um, this will give you the lowest performance, I mean, sorry, the lowest input lag and the best performance. However, I do play certain games in lower resolution and I want them stretched. So sadly, I have to be with full screen here, but you could try no scaling and override to try to get like every inch of your performance from your computer. That's just like another tip. All right, so now that we have optimized everything on our Windows, we're going to go and look in at my in-game settings and, you know, what I changed to achieve this visibility. So we're going to go over here into video. And first of all, full screen and full uh, windowed full screen are the two, like, main ones you should be using. Personally, I use full screen because this actually is going to make your... Uh, input lag lower but some people and some computers might perform better on the second one so just try it out for yourself then for resolution i'll be going with 1920 1080 you can do stretched and all that weird shenanigans we're not going to do this here because i don't like stretched for the monitor obvious aspect ratio method letterbox this does not matter for us because we're playing on the same resolution anyways and then for all of these you can have them on it doesn't really matter but the last one, I would highly suggest to put on off. Uh, unlimited FPS is what gives you the best possible uh, input lag, like the least input lag, obviously. And if you want to perform as best as you can, then go with off. You could limit to your monitor's refresh rate if you're like on a 144 hertz or something. But I personally don't do that. If you know what you're doing, then you can limit it. But if you don't know what you're doing, just unlimit it, okay? Now we're going over to graphic quality. So multi-threaded rendering is something that's going to appear here if you have a pretty good computer. You need to have like, I think, 6 gigs of VRAM on your graphics card and have it off. It's supposed to help. For material quality, texture quality, detail quality, and UI quality, I put all of them on low. UI quality is basically what just draws a circle around your map. And it also makes your menus appear either more or less blurry. It, this is one is preference. All of the three ones here... I would say have them on low. I'm going to put them on high just for the sake of the video. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. You see how much more clutter has appeared on the ground, on the walls. Reflections on my hands, for example. My, my gloves are like a way more detailed. And I think on Bind, actually, the map we've loaded into, it, it it's like probably the best. On some other maps, it gets so intensely like uh, look at the, the, the ground. It just Things look a lot more distracting. Also, if you're streaming, your stream will look a lot better on low because it's less detailed and computers have a much easier time rendering this onto your stream. So yeah, you see that? It's, the game is like way more brighter. I can see yeah. way more there. I can see way yeah. more there as well. And the ground in general is just butter smooth. It almost looks like it's from plastic, which is good. I, I actually like how it looks. It reminds me of Team Fortress 2. Now for Vignet, I think is how you say it, have this off, not really a big deal. It just draws a little dark edge around your screen, you can barely see it, whatever, I have it off. V-Sync, always have off. Anti-aliasing is what makes the edges of your screen nicer. This is preference, I personally use 4X because that makes the game as sharp as possible. And then for uh, the filtering, I use it on 8X, this makes the textures on the floor appear just smoother in general. And you know, I go for smoothness, so I was like, alright, sure, I'll have it on 8X. These two don't really cost any FPS on my specific rig, but they might on yours. So make sure to try them on, you know, on and off and everything, and then look into the best possible results. For improved clarity, bloom, distortion, and FPS shadows. I would always go on off. Uh, these don't really do anything good for you. They don't look that good either. 
Uh, maybe Bloom is the nice one because it can make your skins look a little bit better. Uh, but even then, like, I don't really see much of a difference. Like, I, I, I like it on off. I think it looks the best on off. So this is what the settings that we went for were in-game. And, you know, this is going to give you, like, really good visibility and really good overall performance. Now for stats, this is how you can show your client FPS, tick rate, things like that. If you want to turn any of that on, I personally just don't like having numbers floating around on my screen, so I turn it off. There's another thing we have to touch before we, you know, finish off this video is going to be the uh, network buffering. Make sure to have this one on minimum. For some reason, people happen to have this one on maximum or, mo or moderate. And when you spectate them, it looks like you're watching like 30 FPS gameplay. Uh, if your friends ever told you that you're like lagging when they're spectating you, it's probably that setting. So look into it and make sure it's on minimum. It should be default for most people. But if you're having some network issues that it can actually switch automatically. It did that for some of my friends and it was super weird. Another setting I want to talk about, and sadly I can't really show you this right now, it's the enemy highlight color. I'll try to include some screenshots. It's basically the color of the enemy, right? They have a little outline. I'm using yellow. Then three yellow, but I can't say that. Okay, sorry, I'm not. I'm, English is not my first language. It makes the enemies appear really, really bright yellow, and I just happen to like that. This is going to be preference-based. If you have no problem seeing enemies on red, you can keep red. But I just really like yellow. I think it looks... You know, it just looks really nice and it, it, it makes the enemies pop out more and I just happen to react a little bit faster when I turn it on. So make sure to try all of those and pick the one you like the most. Anyways, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have good FPS in your game and I hope you guys rank up. I will see you soon. Have a good rest of your day. Later. Goodbye. Safe, so I get out of here. One shot, then ten top, I saw. Never see a man again.